Hi, and welcome again with part 13 with of ASP.NET Core API with the Flutter. This video will be the last video. We'll do a small summary about what we have done and we'll work a bit with the uh, list view. Uh, let's move to the code and see what we have there. So we have done a lot of things. So we show uh, we have now update, delete, or save. We are displaying all our da data from the database. I think we pass. We did good things till now. So I just I want to do small enhancing about the list view. Actually, it's not, not, not necessary, but I want to just show you what we have here in Flutter. So the list view in Flutter, if what we have written here before, I think we have done it in the build list view or something we call it yeah this one here build forum no not this one we are in the yeah here okay so if we go it should be this one build the student list so here we have list view builder inside it we have a card each card will have list title so this list title we have inside it we are displaying only the first name i can do something like that uh sorry i can say uh student okay i will take the index uh, dot i can say here last name why it's why here it's out of this one last name so now i can display the last name you can see here top coming the last name too with a small space so what we can do more here in the list of you have uh, something we call it landing or trailing or subtitle so there is something can display something under the the name this is the color subtitle or you can add something they call it trailing to be here or you can add something landing or leading so let me just add the trailing here if the trailing we can do over the title uh, this is my title here let me just add them before everything so if I want to say in the trailing here I want to add icon just for to show the user there is action in this uh, list if you press on it something will happen so let me add something uh, arrow I think this one it's not bad iOS let me save it nice so here I can see there is something if I press here to take me to something or the different UI that's not bad so but here we are ignoring the gender so uh, let's suppose I need to uh, we can do something uh, we can show here male or female or an A depend on what we have sent to database we can display here a small uh, icon how to that do that this part here they call it uh, uh, I think uh, leading so this one let me just write sorry small function let's say display uh, by gender I want to pass so depend on what I and depend on a student index dot gender so depend on this gender I want you to display for me let's suppose uh, this icon so it will, it will be a bit uh, a few things here we'll add it will be widget this widget will call it display by gender so I'm sending end uh, to be gender 2 so this one here I have male female and a so I'll call first one male equal I want an icon this icons dot uh, let me say person we have I think uh, uh, per, let's say person only yeah we have person so to be I think let's see this one for the fi, uh, the uh, male we can say the color it will be colors dot too many things but let's say for the man we can say mm. blue but male so var same 
So I want to copy the mail. Uh, let's do email. But we can do different icon. I don't I couldn't find mail, so I will put plugin into men. And let's get them pink. Uh, for the NA, I will put something. I don't know why I'm not displaying. Normally, it display the. Uh, let's put Patreon now. Okay. And the color we can say green. Okay, that's one. Nice. That would be NA. So here what we return from this one, we'll say return uh, gender the gender equal one return for me male. If this gender equal equal to return for me female or the default one will be in a oh, let's go to there ah nice so we see yeah male male and in a so let's add one uh, female should be even now we have the the last name too ah. come on Save. Yeah, we have female, female. Let's discipline one, change one of them to NA. Update. Oh, nice. So that's something uh, very simple about the list view. And there is much more things you can learn about Flutter and about list view. You can use many things. You can put images, icons, colors. You can display anything you like. So uh, this will bring me to the end of this uh, tutorial. I think Flutter it's something nice to learn and they have too many features and the uh, most important things is you can run the same uh, code you have written in one uh, let's say in one language same dart here you can run it in an, an, uh, iOS or an Android that will save money and will save time and I think something very nice same code can be run in, in two places it's different than uh, I think uh, react or other because they have I think it will be good the future to learn uh, flutter and, and it will be very useful it's supported by Google I think they said it will be very promising to use it now because they said they have a new iOS uh, Fuchsia it will be uh, depend on this uh, language if someone prepare from now and learn it even it's working on android very very good and very fast it's not bad it's uh, i have uh, used many languages but i found this one it's very dynamic and very easy uh, i will publish the code from the github on, on my github as soon as possible uh, and i will be happy to answer your questions uh, that's it for me see you in the future with the new tutorials Bye-bye.